Hello and welcome to the section 3 of the course Digging Deeper in Web Applications Using Intruder. Now in this section we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all we will learn about what is Intruder inside Burp Suite and then we will also take a look at the features of Intruder. Intruder module in Burp Suite. Now in this video we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all we will learn about Intruder and then what are the various typical uses of Intruder that we are going to cover here in this video. So first of all let me show you what is Intruder and what are the various features inside it. So guys uh, I am here at the Google. I have started my browser. On Google you can type here Burp Suite Intruder and hit enter. So this is the official website of Burp Suite which is portswigger.net and uh, here you can learn more about the features of Burp Suite or I can say Intruder. So let me open the page where you can gather information about Intruder. So here it is at the official website Portswigger. So here you can see that uh, this is information about Burp Intruder. Right? There are many features inside Burp Suite. So one of them is Intruder. Here you can read about Burp Intruder is the tool for automatic customized attacks against web applications. So Burp Intruder can be used to perform attacks on the web applications. It is extremely powerful and configurable and can be used to perform a huge range of tasks. From simple brute force guessing of web directories and SQL injection vulnerabilities. So in the later videos of this section we are going to learn that how you can attack on a web application and how to perform brute force attack on web application using Intruder. So we are going to perform practicals inside this section. So how it works? Burp Intruder works by taking an HTTP request called the base request modifying the request in various systematic ways. So first of all what we are going to do here we are going to intercept a request from the web application. We will send it to the Burp Suite and uh, from Burp Suite we are going to send it inside Intruder option right and then we will manipulate that request. So for each attack you must specify one or more set of payloads and positions so that I will show you that what are the payloads and positions available here. What are the typical uses? So Burp Intruder is a very flexible tool and can help automate all kinds of tasks when testing web applications. So these are the categories here enumerating identifiers, harvesting useful data and fuzzing for vulnerabilities or attacks. So these are the options available here that you can gather information about the data, fuzzing, you can gather information about the vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, file path traversal, etc. And here are the terminologies inside the attack. For example, what is target? This is used to configure the details of the target server of the attack. So here we need to specify the target website. Positions. This is used to configure the request template for the attack. Together with payload positions, the attack type determines the way in which payloads are assigned to. For example, if we are on the login page of the website, right? So there are two parameters. One is username, one is password, right? So there will be two payloads, one for username, one for password, right? And there are two positions for username and password. So these are called positions. Payloads. This is used to configure one or more sets of payloads. Payloads means basically the attack on the login page of the website. Options. This is used to configure numerous other options affecting the attack. Now let me show you directly inside Burp Suite about all these terminologies. So let me open Burp Suite here. Click on Windows. Click Burp Suite Community Edition and open it. Target positions, payloads and options. So here let me start the burp so this is the burp suite community edition and if you click on intruder so this is intruder and similarly in the theory part we have learned that there are four tabs are available here and you can see here that there are four tabs actually one is target one is positions then payloads and then options all right so what is target in target we need to specify the target website for example, the target website is www.vulnweb.com. So here you need to provide inside the host. All right. In positions, for example, this is a simple request we have intercepted inside Intruder. So these are the five positions available inside. You can see they are highlighted. 
So this is one, this is second, this is third, this is fourth, and this is fifth positions are there. In payloads, so you can see here that this is a payload set here, right? Here you can provide the list of username and list of password. For example, if you are trying to attack on a login page of a website, so here you can simply add one by one the username and password. And these are the other options available inside it. So you don't need to worry about it. We will perform practicals using Intruder in the later videos. Then you will understand completely that how actually Intruder works. So these are the options available here. Here you, you can provide the number of threads, number of retries on network failure 3, pause before retry 2000 milliseconds. So you can edit all these things. Attack results are available here. Use denial of service mode. Grab match. You know what is grab? So grab is basically a keyword or a command which can be used to find the pattern of uh, the word or any code. That's where grab is used. Grab payloads. You don't need to change anything here in the option part, but you can simply use the payload option and uh, the position option. And using these two options, we can simply perform attack on a web application. So that was a simple example of the brute force attack on a web application. So this is the basics of Intruder and uh, we will learn more in the next videos. So in the next video, we are going to learn about what is brute force attack and how to attack on a web application.